We are here. Hello. I'm happy to be with you today. Thank you. It's good to be here with you. Thank you. You have questions. I do. Um, my name is Denise. Uh, just, I don't know if that's helpful to you vibrationally, but any information that I receive from you is most welcome. So if you need to go off on another track beside my quest, beside what I ask, it's quite all right. Um, I, I am a really emotional being and it's evening out as I get healthier. I don't go have so many ups and downs, but they, I still have emotions and, 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 and they're not necessarily a bad or a wrong thing. I understand that. But I'd like to know, sort of, in a, um, a universe, from a universal perspective, exactly what is the role of human emotions, and um, from your perspective. And the second part of the question is, how can we use emo how can humans use emotions optimally to serve us as a species or as individuals? Your emotions are are essentially the same as, as what we often call your, your vibration. Mm -hmm. Where your vibration is, where you are emotionally, and, and, and you understand very well that, that this operates on a spiral and, you, and your emotions fluctuate, your vibration fluctuates. Right. The, the purpose of human emotion is to have a, a rich contrasting experience of positive and negative mm -hmm. your your triggers for your emotion help drive you up and down your virtual vibrational spiral and left for lack of a better term unattended by most of your planet by most of the human beings on your planet the the, the emotions create the contrasting environment that, that you all come to experience. So the, the, the moving up and down the virtual vibrational spiral is a natural occurrence, but as you collectively ascend to a higher vibration, which is very much going on on your planet at this time, yeah. as you are well aware, you, you are now coming into a, a level of knowledge that you are vibrationally matched to, or you would not be here meeting with us in a situation such as this. And those of you that are, are coming to this, this place are becoming, coming to understand that you can have more control over your positioning on your virtual vibrational spiral than perhaps you, you have had in the past. Perhaps many of you have believed in the past. There is a, a, a working your way up the spiral that, that we are aware that, that you have been working on in, in, in the, the TIA program. And the more you work your way to the top and, and connect with our energy, which of course is flowing to you at all times, the, the more frequently that you allow yourself to go up there and connect, the more clarity you receive and the less you will find human conditions, earthly conditions impacting you. This is a, a topic that, that we have shared very much very recently. That this, there's no coincidence that you are asking this question at this time because we have spoken quite a bit about this very recently, that, that, that when you go up there and, and, and allow your connection with us to be realized, you see your world from our perspective. You understand that there is nothing broken, there is nothing wrong, that even others who are living in great contrast are living their contrast and from the higher perspective, their soul consciousness perspective, that contrast was their desire before they flowed in to a human experience. That does not mean that you have to discern your preference to, to be party to those things. You do not. In fact, we very much guide you to discern your preferences toward what you want set your sights upon that, make your work aligning with those things and understand that, that your life experience will be your unique life experience based on your allowing and, and your alignment while others around you will, will be experiencing other things. And, and there's nothing wrong with any of that. Even coming to understand that being this, we, we 
fall short of, of, of using the term a higher, highly evolved or higher vibrational human, though that is true, part of, of, of being a higher vibrational human is understanding that that in no way makes you superior to any of the others. That Oh, absolutely. They are all on their own journey. They are all living their contrast. That there is no messing this up. There, there is no wrong way to, to do life. You, you all come to experience contrast. And some of you find your paths out of it to, to a, a, a more high vibrational state of being most of the time. And some do not and everything in between, and there's nothing wrong with any of it. This is a, a little temporary weekend trip that you're all on, and the scheme of things is not such a big deal compared to the wholeness of who you are. So there's no getting this wrong, there's no messing this up, and it's important to understand that, that the, the, the more you work your way up your spiral, the more you allow your stream, your connection to us to flow, which is unique to you, the more you will see all of these things from that higher perspective, and there will be no emotional triggers? There'll be, well, one of the things that I've, I've experienced in, uh, as a result of boot camp is um, less reactivity. I'm not reacting with my emotions like I used to. Everything triggered me before. I still get triggered. I mean, I've had some triggers lately, um, but other people's drama, I'm like, leave me alone I don't even want I, you know I don't get involved I, I just I just stay separate from that but so it's been a blessing really to uh, have my emotions um, under under such uh, under my control more or less and the other thing that's I have a question about about regarding emotions is is it typical for someone once they've ascended to a certain point and have a certain amount of control on, out over their vibrational spiral to start to have emotions and only be able to go so far? This is so, I had some sad, I've had some sad, a couple of sad things happen lately. So I have this little bit of sadness and I'm waiting, I keep waiting to drop, like to go down with it and I don't. And it's, it's an unusual feeling for me because I just, well, there's another question. Um, losing this, I, I lost a friend. Well, I understand it from source perspective. It was time. We were no longer resonant. We were, uh, we were dissonant energies and, and it needed to, we needed to part ways. I, I really, really believe that. But I did have some sadness around her physical loss in my life. But I didn't go that far with it. It didn't go, it didn't go anywhere. Like, the first time she did this to me 10 years ago, I went into depression for three months. This time it didn't, I lost a little sleep here and there, but nothing, you know, thinking about it. But I don't know, it's, uh, it's an adjustment. It's, it's a lovely adjustment as I'm glad I'm going in this direction, but not being so reactive to my own emotions and to the emotions and the insanity going on around me feels different. I feel very different, like I'm watching from a higher place like i'm watching the world in my own life i'm watching even my own life from a higher place so i want to thank you for your teachings around that uh it's been a big blessing in my life i am not all over the place all the time with my emotions like i used to be um my my knees have been achy uh they were feeling great because i've been working out pretty regularly now cl for close to a year and all my knee pain went away. I've had arthritis, diagnosed with arthritis for many years. But then about um, three or four weeks ago, I started getting more pain in my knees. And I thought, maybe I should go see the doctor and get some advice about the best way to work out. You know, the best way to move my body. Maybe I need some body mechanic education so I don't further hurt them. You know, whatever. Well, it ended up I got an x-ray. And she told me I'm, I, I'm on a double repla knee replacement track. And... Um, I'm not real happy about that, and I'm not sure I even want to believe it. I don't know what to do with it spiritually, um, with that information. Um, I, um, I'm kind of baffled because I have, I'm bone on bone, so I want to, but I want to grow back, I want to grow back my cartilage. That's what I want to do, and I don't, I, I hope I can, I, but I, I don't know where to begin do I accept the fact that my knees are shot and I need new knees, or do I try to work with this energetically um, and spiritually to try to um, heal it that way? Because I've had so many spiritual healings of so many different things. 
I believe it's possible, but I think I need guidance. We, we always say that, that anything is possible. And, and when you were speaking of your, 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 your physical body, we stop at anything within your evolutionary cycle is possible. You, you are not going to sprout wings and jump off a building and, and, and fly in your current body. No. So when you ask these questions, there are, there are two things occurring simultaneously. Absolutely, you are capable of, of, of growing tissue and, 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 and healing yourself. That There's examples of that every time you cut yourself. And it all operates the same. And, and certainly your, your medical community, even with, with good intentions, creates a solution to a problem. And th then they tend to create more problems so that they can continue to offer the solution on a broader scale. And the technology is there, but you, surely you realize that, that, that humanity existed for a very long time without that technology. And, and many lived to, to be old in, in your years without having to have something of that nature. At the same time, it's important to understand that your intentionality in coming into a human body was to come and live a span of time. And your bodies, and when we say your, we mean all of humanity, you, your bodies wear out naturally as part of your intentionality not to come and stay forever. The, 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 the more you progress through your, your lifetime, the more you vibrationally begin to disconnect from, from Earth at this time. And that is by design, by universal design. You are, you are born up to speed with the time that you were born into. And as you progress, you, you sort of hit a, a peak of connectedness as a young adult with your environment. And then as you progress beyond that, you begin to disconnect from the environment. New things come out. Technology takes off. You reach a point where there, there is a tipping point where David said that he finally felt old because there was a technology that he could not comprehend, a, a, a social media technology that, that was the first one that made him feel old. Mm -hmm. And he realized that it was not created for him, created for a generation earlier. Yeah. And your intentionality in disconnecting from the environment to ultimately make your departure and return to your completed state, your, your body wearing out is part of that. It, it is a, obviously a natural progression. It happens to yeah, all. I'm only, I'm only 62 and I don't feel elderly and I, I, I have, the, the knees aren't gonna take me out. We, we, we <laughs> this is where we were, are, are guiding you. Feeling young and vibrant and healthy are, are all positive things. I do but feel also, that. At the same time, accepting that there are elements of your body, your eyes, for example, right. are going to wear out with use and time, and that is natural. So it's, it's a combination of intending excellent health and intending self-healing and being very high vibrational regarding all of that and not pushing against the, the, the aging process so much that you activate the vibration of exactly the opposite of, of what you desire. The, 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 the David it was, was very um, enthralled for a while with, with Steve Jobs. Steve oh, Jobs was a, a, a genius in his eyes and, and read his biography. And, and, and David thought how sad that this man with all of his accomplishments and all of his money and all of his adoration could not save himself from cancer. But in reading his, his books and his biography, it became very apparent to David that Steve Jobs, the human being, was very obsessed with perfect health. And his obsession with perfect health was very much rooted in a fear of aging and a fear of death. Well, that obsession activated the vibration of not being healthy right. in an early demise. And, and, and a prime example of how you can manifest and be very up your spiral on certain topics and be very down your spiral on yet another. Mm -hmm. on the, the, the business accomplishment and money spiral, that individual was very high. On the health spiral, he was very low. 
Okay. This is why we often guide you to, to prioritize health at, at the top of your, your spiral, at the top of your priority list, because if you do not have your health working for you, none of the other things tend to matter. So the best thing that I can do is to set intentions and keep my thought and my um, vibration really high regarding my health. Set and your then, intentions for the, the best path to arrive. Set your intentions toward feeling better and understand that that- I don't feel that bad. That's the thing. I don't, they, they, they're, I'm still doing everything. I mean, I, they ache a little. They don't, they don't kill me. So I don't feel like it's time for surgery. I don't feel like I'm ready. Set I don't your feel intention like toward that. healing. Set your intention toward feeling good and being healthy. Do those things and understand that in, in keeping that vibration, what you need will arrive, whether it is an exercise regime, a diet, those two are very likely involved oh, yeah. in creation. Yep. And if the deterioration somehow continues, understand that it could also mean the arrival of the right healthcare professionals in the right scenario, and ultimately perhaps the manifestation of the re replacement. It, 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 you can be aligned with all of it. Okay. So again, what as as is 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 a common theme with um, your teachings. There isn't a right and a wrong. It's just about staying up the spiral, setting positive intentions, and allowing rather than going resisting or living in fear or whatever. Just allowing all the guidance to come moment by moment. Um, I do not feel like I need surgery now, and I'm not going to get surgery now. Uh, but I do want to be healthy, and I I certainly will do whatever I'm, and I intend to do whatever I have to do, which includes changing some things about the way I eat, and taking off a few pounds, and um, continuing to exercise certainly because it feels good. I feel better when I do all that. I know I'm higher in my vibration when I do that, and that's what's important. So okay, well thank you. That was great. Um, that was really helpful. We would absolutely guide you to release, detune the doubt that you can do it. You, you absolutely can do it, but you will only do it w with your continued belief in it. That is true on all topics. Right. There, there is no reason that you cannot. The, the, the reason that we guide you to be generally up the spiral and we guide you to not concern yourself so much with the how is simply because all of those little components can add, add static to the scenario mm -hmm. and bring your vibration down. Keep your vibration very high and understand that in doing that, the, the, the right components for you to heal yourself naturally will arrive. Okay, perfect. I feel like I just got a great pep talk. Thank you. I needed that because this has been kind of weighing on my mind I've had some, a lot of, I've had static around the knee thing. And um, we do not necessarily guide you away from your healthcare professionals, but th th they are approaching things from a very, very different perspective. And, and you, you are keenly aware that, that, that your intentionality and, and your creative abilities far surpass any science that humanity has created. I, yes, I agree. I'd like to know if you could give me your uh, source perspective, your high high vibrational perspective on the role of plant medica plant medicines for spiritual benefit as well as uh, physical and emotional benefit to the human species. We will start by saying that all of your tools and any tools that you have, and, and everything is a tool outside of your your mind. You, your mind is somewhat of a tool, but when we use the term tools, we are speaking of anything that is outside of your own consciousness. Mm -hmm. Your tools have the power that you give to them. It, 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 if somebody hands you a, a, a bottle of pills and tells you that this is absolutely a miracle drug that has cured whatever you have and you believe it, you, you will be cured. It, the, the, your own creative abilities will 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 work within that because of your belief system mm -hmm. when you speak of the these specific substances 
they, they are absolutely substances that that change the vibration of, of, of your your human consciousness and and relax what we would call your ego consciousness and allow you to connect to your soul consciousness at perhaps a different level than you are allowing in your your lucid state yes and, and both of these substances as you are well aware allow for that on different levels and mm -hmm. and connecting to the energetic realm the, the, there are are what you would consider magical experiences and absolutely healing journeys information that is available to you do not you do not necessarily need to use these things to receive this mm -hmm. i know they, they they are a tool so some may consider them a crutch but we would not go as far as to say that because we would rather you discern your preference and have your experience with your positive intentions regardless of what the substance is and, mm -hmm. and understanding that with with the, the high intention behind it you will not go wrong in the experience mm -hmm. i i had some experiences where i was absolutely energetically one with source which is um, an experience that many don't get to have in their lifetime. You know, I lost my body. I didn't have a body for short, peri short periods of time. Very short, but very, very profound. You, you are tearing down a wall that holds you away from, from, from the energetic realm, and you are experiencing, and very much of it is you're perceiving, still from your human perspective, the energetic realm, but a much, at a much higher level than what you allow in your lucid state. Correct. I, I was wondering, I think my question is more along the lines of, now I, um, I'm wondering if the earth itself ha, is being a created by source and itself being an energetic force has evolved these medicines on its own in order to and I believe these medicines have a consciousness. I believe plants have consciousness. I believe trees have consciousness. Consciousness flows through all creation, even right. rocks, for sure. Exactly. There is consciousness flowing through this, this entire environment in which you live, and yes. you are all interconnected. And, and, and there are absolutely, your plants and you all serve one another. Mm -hmm. Even in speaking of the, the food chain, you all serve one another. And mm -hmm. with your vast intelligence, Humanity has has found a path to to many many substances that are available that 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 have unique benefits. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess that's what I, I sort of wanted validation on. I really feel as though, like for example, the hum the scientists say that we have an endocannabinoid system, meaning we have receptor sites for cannabis in our bodies. So humans have evolved over the according to this science, have evolved over millions or thousands or whatever, millennia or years or whatever, um, into beings that receive cannabis um, physiologically as well as emotionally and spiritually. So we have the system that absorbs cannabis already. And to me, that means that, that, that proves what you just, what the stream just said, that we're all interconnected. There's no consciousness that's not connected to any other consciousness. So I wanted to know if I was mistaken or, or maybe a um, little too pie in the sky thinking that these were really intended by source to be healing medication, healing medicines for spirit, body, mind, and spirit. The, the, the intention we would, the source portion of it is slightly inaccurate because we do not have intentionality toward what happens on planet earth or in any physically manifested environment. We, we come and offer guidance to those of you who are seeking and vibrationally matched to our message, mm -hmm. but it's important to understand that there, there are, there aren't, there are no manifestations on planet earth that are our doing. The the, the 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 ecosystem is truly that that that. Well, I have an, I have another question off of that. Then I understand the point that you're making. I've heard I've heard you make that point before. Uh, I'm wondering if the consciousness of the planet, which some call Gaia, that is more that is more accurate. That, that the, the, the consciousness, consciousness of the planet brings together 
humanity's desire for a certain specific experience or type of healing and a, a natural substance that, that facilitates that, that is absolutely a desire. Why do you think it was illegal for so long? Because it was too healthy. <laughs> it, it, it frightened the powers that be. And, and now that you are all coming together and communicating like never before and ascending to this higher vibration. Everyone smoking marijuana. Every, everyone is doing it. It is becoming legal and mainstream. And, and David has lived in areas where it has been legal for a very long time much for your perspective on that and I'm really happy to hear about your ideas on uh, the consciousness of, of the planet creating um, all that humans could possibly need to experience what they need to experience you know and you know high vibrationally and maybe even low vibrationally certainly the earth presents us with many low vibrational experiences too so it's it's offset some of the wonderful things about the plan and offset some of the difficult ones. The, 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 the difficult low vibrational experiences, as you have come to understand, are what inspire all of your growth and expansion. And looking at them from that lens suddenly takes the, the sting out of it. We very much want all of you if you are so inclined to be able to meet any of your obstacles in joy, understanding your, your ability to overcome them and understanding that the growth that, that is offered in the overcoming of them. That's really why you're here. And that's why I focus on, on my new Facebook group. You have inspired me so much. Your teachings have inspired me so much. And I totally believe that the joy in life is overcoming the obstacles. That's where we get to joy. That's how we get to joy is overcoming obstacles. It's um, the overcoming itself creates joy, but after we cre overcome enough, uh, we live just a higher vibrational, more joyous life in general. So it serves, uh, you know, more than one. As you progress and learn from your obstacles, you find yourselves experiencing fewer and fewer of them. And the more yes. you are able to meet them in joy, the fewer of them you are experiencing. And, and you absolutely can, can find your paths at any stage to, to a higher vibrational place where you, you are viewing the obstacles very different. You are not receiving many of them. You are living comfortably, but it is important that you also understand that when you get to that, that comfortable plateau, you are absolutely going to do one of two things. You're going to have a whole new series of desires that spring forth that you will then go and accomplish or you will do what we often refer to as blowing your lives up, creating massive contrast out of boredom, needing to, to recreate and reinvent and, 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 and bring yourselves from the brink back to alignment yet again. Since week four of boot camp, nothing has brought me severely down the spiral. I've had if, this, if, if DTS to neutral is one to five, maybe I've gone to a four, you know, I, but I've, I've not gone down all the way since, since week four. I've gone down a little bit, enough that I've gotten some contrast, enough that I've had been, gotten awareness of work that I need to still do, things that I still need to release, things that are still sitting in my energy field that need to, um, it's time for them to go. I became aware today of some stuff. I was working with a spiritual mentor and uh, I had some deep sadness about my childhood. And I've done so much work, and, and even in boot camp, I did a lot of work on my childhood. But it was different this time. I just felt sorry for that little girl who suffered. It was, it was sadness for her suffering. It wasn't me, Denise, 62-year-old Denise, feeling sad for Denise. It was 62-year-old Denise feeling sad for eight or nine-year-old Denise. And in an effort to... I don't know, integrate her or just comfort her or something. So in my, you know, on a good day, I take when she's sad, I, I know it's her. I know it's not me. I know it's something else. There, there is another place where we guide you to with that. Mm, that, will, okay. that will be freeing. And that is to, as, as we have shared, and, and, and even you and David discussed prior to our arrival, <clears throat> the, the allowing of others to experience their contrast, we guide you to, to, to shift the perspective all the way to allowing young Denise to experience her contrast 
the contrast that from a soul perspective, young Denise came to experience and the contrast that led young Denise on the journey that has led you to where you are right now and see those things for the gifts that they truly are and show appreciation that young Denise lived out her mission of receiving that contrast that from a soul perspective she perspective she wanted very much and be joyous in that contrast and be joyous of of where you are now because of it you would not be the, the teacher that you are now you without your unique life experience which includes that be right. joyous of that there is no more mourning and you understand that that moment exists still as consciousness just as everything that has ever happened exists as consciousness and everything that is going to happen exists as consciousness but it is your recollection of it you are the one holding young denise in that space of of sadness and, and you you have done this for many years and, and, and that is your doing at this point you you are holding her there we guide you to to free yourself and to free her from that prison of of sadness and and realize that that was a joyous experience that was the contrast that from a soul perspective that you are now more in touch with than ever that was the desire amen dave amen 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 oh my god that's a breakthrough that's an aha moment thank you for that aha moment I don't have to feel sad. I don't have to be I vibrationally connected to little girl Denise. I can I can be happy for her that she did the best she could and she survived. She kept the body alive and until she could do better, until life got better, until things changed. And now you can shift perspective to allowing her to experience her contrast and survive it and learn from it and grow from it and teach from it. Oh, I teach from it, that's for sure. That, that is a gift. Yeah. That's a gift to be celebrated yeah. and not, not pitied or mourned. And, mm -hmm. and we guide you very much to, to free young Denise from that, that space. Just Don't like I freed free. adult Denise, I need to free little Denise. I need to do the same thing for her. Indeed you do. And I, and I will, and I, that is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That's wonderful. Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful takeaway. Feel that is all we have. I thank you, sis. I thank you deeply.